little off, but that was a good shot. So I'm back near my neighborhood. I'm gonna make it a little creative. The first one plays like an island. You have you have the road all around it. I'm not even sure how to call that. That is like way too close to call. Uh, So for hole two, I'm gonna have a big hyzer coming from here to there. Not the biggest entryway, but practicing my MD4 hyzer. This hole's gonna be a doozy. I made it a par four. Probably gonna go putter putter. What's up? It's fine, there's no OB on this one. For this hole, I'm just gonna make a simple forehand through the chute. You can see these aren't bad shots. Uh, the putter's a little closer. The forehand's right over there. In a tournament, I'd probably go backhand putters just because I feel safer with it. But I am trying to work on that forehead. That's too bad. This hole is basically going to be a par four through the chute, and then probably another 150 feet. Our basket's on the cliff side on the right. It's going to be pretty tricky. Pretty sweet hole though. I think I can hit that line again. Um, never mind. Jeez. I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on these Echo S line DD3s. There's the hole right there. And look at where the echoes are. Wow. Put it up there, roll away city, either a flick or a big turnover. We'll see what happens. So to finish, right over there. mid-range just to show you comparison. 